Is it? Welcome guests. <laughs> Thank you. I may be the only guest so far. Oh, well, I'm so glad you're here to, we're going to talk about our new CD and um, we're going to debut our new video and I'm dressed in all black for it. And are we all will see why everybody that's on here. Are we to just trust that it's broadcasting live? It says we're in the show. This extension is blocked. It's what does that mean? No, I don't know. It's just my Google. <laughs> Oh, I see uh, an eyeball. So I guess people can see. Reggie. Hi, Reggie. Okay, good. So you can see us. You're on Facebook. Okay, great. So it's good to know that it's working, Sibby. Um, this is a new software situation app that we're using called Stream. Well, it's not that new, but it's new in the sense that Nini usually runs the show. And, mm -hmm. and, and tonight... Instead, we are running the show. Hello, hello, Eleanor. Hello, hello, why can't Eleanor. I, why can't I write in this? Oh, thing? you can't? I think I need to give you um, permission. And I can't figure that out right now. Okay, all right. So we'll, I'll just be shouting out to everybody then. Yeah, you can just acknowledge them and I can just say hello. See, look. So we have Reggie and Eleanor. Oh, oh and there we are. Oh, it comes from everywhere too. I guess oh. it comes from because we're on um we're live on YouTube as well. Wow, Chris Kendall Jones. Oh, great, um, doing great, doing good. So, Chris Kendall Jones, I thought for a second you might be a Kardashian actually, because you I know mean, the card they are frequenters of the Facebook. Yeah, they, they usually are. I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't doubt that they'd be on. It is a little early West Coast time, though. But. It is. It's early. So right. the reason we're here, obviously, is, the, um, is for the... Why are we here? Well, today our CD officially dropped, um, or our Ooh. collection of songs. Streaming, yeah. You used yeah. that word, dropped. Why am I not allowed to use that? You are. You're totally allowed to, to use it. It's such a hip word to say that. Oh, well, I mean, that I can't help. You know how hip you are. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, it's my hat, but I'm doing yeah. it on the Streamyard thing, and I messing it up. You're using live TV for your mirror. Nice to see you too, Denise. Yeah, I'm using live TV. For Hi, Denise. Kids. Oh, Graciela's here too. Hi, Gras. Mm -hmm. Um, so tonight is the world premiere of the video, um, mm -hmm. for Avalanche. Yeah, and so we should probably just get to it. Um. And then we can talk about it. And I thought the way we would set this up, we could talk a little more about the album too and see if we get a few more eyeballs to come in, if everybody is okay with waiting a couple more minutes. <gasps> Jubba. I see Jubba. That's one of my friends from Bucknell. Jubba. <laughs> oh, it's a Jeeba. And I was like, oh. No, Jubba. Jubba. Um, <laughs> oh, good. You love Avalanche, Jubba? That means you're listening? That's so nice, Jubba. We had so much fun together at Bucknell. Jubba, I just want you to know that. So much fun. So much fun. Um, Jubba called me Kaha. <laughs> Are you following what's going on there? I am. You would be Kaha as well. It would be a conflict in nicknames. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, you should really be Kaha. Right. Well, I guess in order for it to work, if we were to be together. Mm -hmm. So Kaha would work. Sure. Kaha. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Kaha. I'm still trying to fix my hat. Um, so let's talk about the album that dropped today quickly. Oh, what a fancy word. Yeah. Uh, I used it. Um, it just said something about exporting a movie. And I know I wasn't exporting a movie, but. we Well, we all might be watching a movie then. I don't think so. I mean, why? So, yeah, our CD is now available everywhere. Um, it was all kind of put together during the COVID we literally were recording it, some of it out in California. We recorded some here and some out in California. We were out in California literally as the COVID curtain was coming down. Totally. And <laughs> Nini was absolutely flipping out, like flipping out. And you and I. 
We were the other. Well, if somebody's flipping out, I take the other side. I'm like, oh, Mm. totally fine. But you never flip out. That you never ever flip out. No, because you guys are always flipping out. If I flip out, we would go right over the cliff. We were doing an event in um, Southern California, a charity event um, for our good friends, horses in their hands. Um, was that what we were doing? Because we yeah. were we were recording. It was well, we traveled up to Julie's from right. there. That's right. So we did that event with Melissa, and then we went up the coast to uh, Oakland. And oh. We did a show up there. Tcon, David's sh- here, Viddy's here. Okay. Um. So anyway, we did uh, and then we did that show in. I guess it was called Albany, California, which confused us too. It's pretty much San Francisco. Yeah, it was San Fran, and then we went to Julie's studio in Oakland and then we did, we recorded there at that point, by that time, Nini was at a fever pitch worried because <laughs> she, she was ready to leave when we were in Southern California. She was like, there's this thing, this thing called a pandemic. Like she wouldn't even leave the gym at the hotel at one point because she was listening to Rachel Maddow and Rachel Maddow just scared her so much. But I mean, it turns out she was absolutely <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> well, it just seemed unfathomable <laughs> i mean <laughs> i can't even know was going to shut down and that we wouldn't get a flight it seemed to cancel and then i was like oh we'll just drive the minivan back across the country she was really ready for that anyway anyway it turns out we well, recorded we at julie's we flew home um but it was like a very different flight home than it was out there a week earlier right the flight home people had on like those crazy yes, masks yes. And anyway everybody knows cuz everybody lived through that so we don't like you all know how weird it was right so so it's an eclectic mix of of stuff we had started yeah. just before the pandemic hit and then during the pandemic right um so well, i mean just to be perfectly though honest and clear oh. we didn't we didn't start recording just before the pandemic we actually started recording even like a year earlier than that um with dina on drums dina was still in the band and then then dina got that seat our drummer dina ended up um on broadway like playing drums on broadway and obviously we weren't going to say no to that we're i mean i mean who's going to tell dina not to do that not me not you so she went off to Broadway. And then we, so we had started recording though. There was a few tracks already done with Dina drumming on them. And then we were like, well, now what? And then we were like, oh, we'll be a trio. And so then I started drumming again. And so I think we wanted to sort of um, meld, you know, s- start to sound it like a band as a trio. Cause that's a big change in our sound sonically. Mm-hmm. Do you not remember that? No, no, I don't remember any of it. Did it get too serious for you? This conversation? Um, you know what it is? I haven't eaten dinner yet. Oh, um, so you're grouchy at me. Well, no, I'm not grouchy. Listen, ha- my belly and I are talking to each other. It's going horrible. It sounded like you just got a text message. Um, yeah, I probably did. Well, mm-hmm. maybe you should. Well, Jonathan. Well, it would be a good time to silence your phone. I just did. <laughs> but I like to keep it on so that I can hear you when you text me. Um, David Vingman it just it says hello to us and it says his dad and one of his friends are big fans of Antigone Rising. Yay! I guess that means David is not a fan of Antigone Rising. It, uh, David is here. You have to have be somewhat of a fan if you're here. T, right, T Con? Right, Biddy? Yeah. That's oh, nice. Kathleen Roach likes the Vanna White days. Who doesn't? I mean, oh. what? I mean, those were magical. I magical. mean, um, where's Where's Karen? Just put up a great post. Oh, Didn't Hannah you? Thomas. Hi, Didn't Hannah. You know. Hannah. Yeah. Um, of all the Vanna White days. Yeah. Where's Karen? Um, is really the greatest of all time. I'm just going to take a look at some other things. Are you seeing me scroll up and down, Sibby? Can you see that? Uh, no, I just see as everybody's jumping in. Thank you, David. Um, right. It's so fun. You can really get caught up in all of this. So um, Jebba from Bucknell says that she's followed us through the years and is proud of our beautiful lives. Jebba, don't be mushy. Oh, what? Our music has been her soundtrack, and she loves what we have done. Mm-hmm. Wow. Diane remembers the bedrock days. We all do, too. Those were some 
crazy days. Oh my crazy God. Where night, did... Really? Bedrocks. Um, yeah, those are good days. Okay. So we do have a video. Um, I have a mischievous cat roaming around too. That's a little distracting at any second. She could pop up and uh, anyway, that doesn't matter. That'll just happen when it happens. Hello to Jeffrey. Our, our friend. Hey from Jeffrey. Um, okay. So, so quickly let's do it this way. I have, I did sort of do this thing where um, I created like a whole bunch of banners that, that, I can put on like throughout the whole video that sort of explains what's going on, almost like a pop-up video from a la VH1 days. Oh, Ro Rosie's on. Hi, Rosie. Rosie toes. Um, and so I could do it like pop-up video style the first round, or we could just watch it straight through with watch no pop-up video. Watch and it. then, and then maybe play it again with the pop-up video. Cause the pop-ups are kind of good. Yeah. 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 Well, is that how? What, I mean, the pop ups, you know, I worked on them. I mean, they're not like, you know, brilliant. They just well, are like, like fun ask, facts. A lot of fun facts. Crowd? Well, crowd, do you guys want to see the video like a pop up video style where like it just runs along the bottom? So it's not interfering. It's not like annoying how VH1, like back in the day, used to do the bubbles, you know, all over the video screen. I'm not that savvy. It would just be like a banner that runs across the bottom of the video. So just fun facts about the video. Um, that we would broadcast along with the video, or should we just broadcast it clean the first time through, and then we'll broadcast it again? Yeah, that just all right. We'll do both. Watch once, then pop up. Yeah, Jebba, I agree with Jebba and uh, Hannah. You'll we'll do pop up next round. Okay. You're going to see two rounds of it. And David okay, Douglas Zelda Brown, thank you. I love that you listen to RCD. We oh, great. That. Um, you know, you yeah. Let's just get going. All right, we're going to get going. Hi, Mike Albergo. The thing is that it does take a little thinking for me because, but uh, what we're going, Whoa, okay. Nothing so, happened. Yeah. So I'm about to hit play on the video. I just have to figure out how to do it. And then, and then I'll get rid of you and me. We won't be in there anymore, but I just, I didn't want to leave everybody alone before no. we hit play. No, 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 no. You know what I mean, Sibby? I do. I do. I do. Okay. Shh. Looks like yours on a street that looks like mine. Kids would just be kids when they're cruel and they're unkind. It happens every day, and we just let it slide. Kids would just be kids, ain't enough for me this time. And this is gonna be an avalanche. When the hammer falls down, you better know where you want to stand. If you're saying nothing at all, it's going to send a message I don't want to send. I don't want to send. This is going to be an avalanche. Watch it on the news. As the story starts to break A teenage kid entitled To take what he could take And we victimize the victim Till she no longer has a face and Call it what you will But to me it's a disgrace And this is gonna be An avalanche when the hammer falls down, you better know where you want to stand. If you're saying nothing at all, it's going to send a message I don't want to send. I don't want to send. This is going to be an avalanche. Sometimes it takes a minute to feel your feet below. 
The ground beneath you shaking, you've been dealt an awful blow. But the sound of your own courage is a bellow soft and low. Here is where it starts. Here is where it grows. With twenty sticks of dynamite, each one minute of her life lighting up what's wrong and right. Twenty sticks of dynamite, each one minute of her life, lighting up what's wrong and right. Twenty sticks of dynamite, each one minute of her life. Lighting up what's wrong and right. Lighting up what's wrong and right. Come on, light it up. As so, I recall, there, that was very late at night, that shot right there. It really was. <laughs> it really was. We were punch drunk, if I recall, too. Um, so uh, thank, thank you, everyone. Everybody. Thank you for all the kind words. Um, so, you know, a few things about it. Like, until I saw that edited, um, I mean, I didn't see any rough footage of it at all. No. And and I hadn't even watched it because it, it was going around, you know, like um, because everybody was talking about shooting B footage because we just thought there was that shoot of the video and then that was just part of it. And then there was going to be a, a storyline that went along with it. Anyway, that's part of the pop up video, but we shouldn't talk about it, I guess, because I was going to do the pop up. But but I had no idea how good it looked like until I saw it because I was I thought it was really well shot i mean i you know i had no idea right i know were we were doing all these different shots and that <laughs> they last, were making it look that good the last okay. one when we were all sitting together in that little threesome yeah well you and i were shot at that oh point. and we were just making jokes <laughs> left and right just Wait, trying to i have a good take and it's like it looks so serious and it's like wow i think i can share <laughs> i think i could share something from that i have to just find it though i have to figure out how this works but we had some funny stuff going on at that point um, let's see if I can share this. Yeah, which I was like, wow, we I don't were we that serious there? Because all I remember is giggling. Here. <laughs> Needy wanted to kill us. So that was really late at night, and that was basically what we were doing. It was really That's late. what was really happening. And then we yeah. would cut over to this really serious tone. I guess we were serious, too. I just remember that. <laughs> um, but thank I, you, everybody. Really, yeah. really, really, really appreciate it. Um, the fun thing about it was that it was really the first time. It was like this 
all these really like we worked with a, a crew that we didn't really know. I mean, other than Katie, Katie Tabor produced, uh, directed the video along with um, a girl named Ellie Gravita. Ellie. Ellie. I know her last hey, name because Mary, I'll a, laugh a little bit more. Um, I have her name in the pop up video. Oh, okay. We're going <laughs> to. Look, I just, Kathy just got here. So yeah. we're going to play it again for Kathy Richardson, but this will be the pop-up bubble video. So if everybody wants to stay on and watch one more time, um, Kathy, this is going to be the, um, you know, the pop-up video. So you're going to get fun facts as well, Richardson. Um, you guys, you all, Kathy Richardson is like rock royalty. Huh? She's on this. Yeah, uh, rock royalty has just landed in the feed. Um, uh, anyway. Yeah. Our, and she was, our sister Kathy was with us on the Etheridge boat, and so uh -huh. things happen on the ship that you know what happens on the ship, it stays there. Right. All right, I just need to be sure that I'm getting the right video on. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're back here now. I gotta go here. Now, I'm gonna get to the pop up. Yeah, this will pop. I have to add the pop ups as we go. Here we go. Okay. All right, we're gonna leave you and me and mute. like yours on a street that looks like mine kids would just be kids when they're cruel and they're unkind it happens every day and we just let it slide kids would just be kids ain't enough for me this time and this is gonna be an avalanche when the hammer falls down, you better know where you wanna stand. To say nothing at all is gonna send a message I don't wanna say. I don't wanna say this is gonna be an avalanche. Watch it on the news. As the story starts to break A teenage kid entitled To take what he could take And we victimize the victim Till she no longer has a face and Call it what you will But to me it's a disgrace And this is gonna be An avalanche when the hammer falls down, you better know where you want to stand. You're saying nothing at all is going to send a message I don't want to say. I don't want to say. This is going to be an avalanche. Shaking, you've been dealt an awful blow. But the sound of your own courage is a bellow soft and low. Here is where it starts. Here is where it grows. With twenty sticks of dynamite. Each one minute of her life Lighting up what's wrong and right Twenty sticks of dynamite Each one minute of her life Lighting up what's wrong
long and right. Twenty sticks of dynamite. Each one minute of her life. Lighting up what's wrong and right. Lighting up what's wrong and right. Come on, light it up. So, uh, all right. The pop ups are fun. A lot of you in it, but I guess you did the pop ups. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> happens, I guess. So they're like, and also because I don't know. That was just in case you said that. <laughs> I had that. I had that one ready. Um, Great. You know, if you did the pop ups, then it would be you would have known your stuff. I would have said I would have been like, at this moment in time, we right. were meatballs, total what? meatballs, and we. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Kathy was, Richardson. Oh, uh, another shot. What are we doing, sitting in this circle? Um, Thanks, Mama. Mom and Dad are on also. I know. I know. I saw a comment that said, Henderson watching. <laughs> <laughs> actually, Mom. You're our mom. Mm -hmm. So Avalanche is on your True Joy CD. It is, Denise. Yeah. My wife and I bought it for each other, I not knowing that. what the other one had done. Now that's True Joy. That's in funny. In action. That's well, I, um, Denise I know that because I've fulfilled the orders and I came so close to almost um, emailing you and saying, you want, you really want two of these separately? I think I sent them separately. Anyway, I didn't, I didn't know that that's what was happening, but I guess I'm not sure how to take down the meatball thing. I don't think you keep it. How about this? This is yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be like Kathy Anderson is yeah, a yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this with you. Is Kathy Richardson still on? Yeah, Richardson's got to be on still. I can't imagine she just bopped in for only a couple minutes. Right, right. Richardson? She Grandpa did. named you Meatball. Well, Grandpa was Meatball, the original Meatball. So, there's Richardson. Do you need to say something to her? Oh, yeah, I won't do that. I won't do that live. She'll kill me. Oh, you were going to put. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I won't do it, Richardson. I was thinking about doing it. So, um, Kathy Richardson, since you're here, can I put you on the spot? Let's. Are we touring together? Can we tour together already? Yes. Yes. We need to do that. Is that happening? I don't know. Her booking agent never called us. Oh, there you go. Get really. on that. I keep talking to my computer like I'm on a Zoom with you. Oh, I. Him. Kathy Richardson, if I send you the link to come on with us, would you come on right now? Because I have a link that you can go to. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know what you mean. That's not true. Yeah, just send her the link. Well, I need her email, though. That's going to get tricky. Well, can you text it to her? You can. Well, I can. Okay. Oh, my God. I look like a piece of shite, she said. <laughs> You don't have to. As opposed to what, us? We're worse. <laughs> <Yes, it is. laughs> I don't know. If you don't want to come on, Kathy, you don't have to. It's not right. We shouldn't do that to you. But No, but I'm going to send it to you. I'm, I'm going to give you the option. 
Yeah. So, um, so the album True Joy is, we have it on CD. You can order the CD from AntigoneRising.com through the store. And, uh, but now it just, it just distributed today all over the place um, for streaming purposes on Spotify and on, you know, Apple, iTunes, and Amazon. So if you, however you consume your music, I guess, is really up to you. And, um, and now you have all the options at play. You can also actually, if you go to our website, on the site, you can stream it from Bandcamp, which is a site that's a little more for like independent artists. You can stream it there or download it. And that money actually makes it to us. Like what's it's happening? It's also on sale at Salon Solis. Oh yeah. Um, right. Of course. In and C it's for sale at Salon Solis here in Seacliff. Mm -hmm. um, that's our distribution. Point. <laughs> that's our new distribution. Uh -huh. like, well, up that's our fourth band member right there. Yeah. Graciela. Mm -hmm. Graciela does the band's hair and makeup. And um, when we were on the Melissa Etheridge cruise, we needed a fourth person to complete the Kiss lineup. So Graciela was ace freely. So for and those of you who, yeah, she well, of course, of course, obviously, I should have said that. I mean, it's like I take it for granted. So sorry, Graciela. Graciela is super talented, and she did all of our Kiss makeup and um. I mean, people were really blown away by that on the boat. Even Melissa Etheridge, she said that we won. And I love winning. <laughs> Especially when I, Melissa tells you you've won. Into a microphone on stage. Yes, uh -huh. of course. That's always a good feeling. Uh-huh. Um, Terry Carta is like um, lodging her band camp download complaint. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, this is the time to do it if you, anyone has any complaints. That's right. So I would, what I would do, Terry, is check with Bandcamp on that, but I kind of know the frustration you're feeling. It's like, who knows where it went? Check your download folder, though. Start there. Um, you know, did you try that? <clears throat> I bet you did. I mean, I don't mean to insult you, but try it. Um, so, but, and thank you for downloading it. And if you can't find it, I did that band camp, but I can't find the download. Um, yeah. So check. And if you can't find she's it. here. She said she's here. Ah, oh, she is here. You're so right. Uh -huh. I see you. Okay. We're going to add Kathy Richardson. I'm not sure what happens when I add a third person though. So I might disappear or you might disappear. Why? Why wouldn't. I'm not sure. What, oh, no. We, we can do this. We can do this. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Add to stream. Oh, yes. oh my God. <laughs> I, I, think I think you, you have to turn, turn something, something off, off for, for echoing. echoing. Oh, so, really? Maybe I'm too yeah, loud. Yeah. Here, let me turn my volume. You? Down. Right. You know, you need it's to like hear. When you call in on the radio. Yo. So like, turn, your, turn your volume down, ma'am. Oh, my God. Exactly. <laughs> Richard. Hi. I miss you so much. I you know. know. We miss you too. I can't, I don't know how I've ever lived without you. And this is just I, like, we really, really need to make this happen where we yes. go play together. What if we just played together? Like, yeah, like I played with you guys and you played with me. Yeah, that's like, what we want to do. We'll be yeah, band. Well, that's what we have to do. That's yeah, what yeah we we'll just do a set, set of all our stuff. stuff. Yeah. Richardson, you're still echoing, echoing though. though. You, you gotta, gotta fix, fix that. that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't be able to hear us, either, right? I'm like deaf from all the rock and rolls, right? Like I have yeah. to be yeah. loud. You, gotta bring it you guys, hey. Richard, not only is Kathy Richardson amazing, in her own right. She sings lead for Jefferson Starship. Yeah. Hey, do you know what? Jude Gold, our guitar player, yeah. is sitting here, right here next to me. Oh, hey, right on. Here. What's up, we, Jude? How are you? Guys, you remember meeting Jude? He also plays in my band, and he's in town because we're playing a show, a local show, with oh, my killer. Kathy Richardson band tomorrow night. Oh, and uh, so he came in for that, and he, we, we're just practicing in my living room and i was like oh, i want to see their debut and i want to be uh, there nice. and support and so this is so fun i had no idea it's going to end up on the show <laughs> so, i mean promoting you guys know if anybody's in the chicago area go see these guys yeah it's fitzgerald's crazy. tomorrow night fitzgerald. and we're doing a super um we we a lot of times we'll do you know we'll play our whole show and then come out and do an encore and it'll be like 
you know, a side, an album side, like of the, you know, rumors or a set of the, the who tunes and I'll play keyboards. And, yeah. um, tomorrow we're doing five songs from Pink Floyd, the wall. Ooh. And I've been like, I haven't slept in weeks since I said, yes, this is what we're doing. And I like lay awake at night, like, which songs are you doing? Do you think they'll drop yeah, it? Yeah. Bomb. I'm trying to count it. I'm like, what? I had no idea how complex. Yeah. And anyway, oh, it's going to be fun. So good. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, well, we miss you so much, too. So, so know, let's plan on a tour. We'll plan on a tour. We have to do it. And we, we, we've been, you can, our manager reached out to your guys, though. Yes. And he knows her. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. And they, they have talked. And he told, like, last week, he told me that he was going to call her. Okay. And, um, I just don't know. I, I don't know what we'll is figure it out. Yeah, we'll yeah, figure yeah. It out. We'll figure but it out. anyway, congratulations on your new record. The new song is it's stunning. It's just oh, stunning. Thanks, what Kathy. a beautiful song. And of course, your your voices in the production and everything. Just killer. Yeah. Killer. Um, um, Jude concurs. Dino right. right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So we're so going to let you go, though, Kath, because you're, right. you're, you're you, causing ladies. echo, and, but we but love we you. Love you. <laughs> Beyond love. Beyond we love. You so love. Much. Beyond. I just muted you, but we're going to remove you now. But we love you, Jude and Kathy. Take care. And All have right, a great guys. show. Have a great show tomorrow. What a surprise. What a great moment. I mean, you just never know who's going to drop in. Just don't. No. Um, we've got someone saying hi from Sydney, Australia as well. Hi, Lisa. And hi, David Bingman. Hi. And Sherry's uh. on. Oh, hi, Sherry. Denise mm -hmm. said that we looked better than Kiss does themselves. Oh, I mean. I bet that's probably true. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to be. It just, you know, there comes a point in time <laughs> in life where it's just time to not do that anymore. <laughs> anyway, you know, ironically on that very, Denise, you probably know this. We were on the Melissa Etheridge cruise and it was 70s night and we dressed up as Kiss for those of you who don't know what we're talking about. And um, Kiss does a Kiss boat and it's that exact same boat. And I was thinking as we were in the villa that we were staying in on the cruise, um, Kiss was probably... I mean, why wouldn't they have been in that? That must have well, been. Well, they were. Of did you? Did you know? I don't know if you probably didn't notice this. Notice this. I don't know why I went behind the couch at one point, but I did. And there was equipment back there that had said "Kiss" on it. Ah, mm -hmm. in so our was, villa. In our villa. Right. Mm -hmm. That's. Yeah. No, you didn't mention that. No. <laughs> what? What? You were too busy to. What? Had that not get back to me? Because I was too. We were too busy singing with Melissa and Sean and yeah, Katie yeah. Tunstall. Right. So you forgot to mention that. And Richardson. Anyway, and Kathy Richardson. So, all right. Well, you know, I don't know. I guess there's nothing left to say except that we love you all. And that what what's else is there to talk about? Please stream the album. Please buy the album. Mm -hmm. uh, go to AntigoneRising.com. Support us. And, and we'll be very grateful. Well, um, we're grateful that you guys are all here. This is great. This is so much fun. Oh, it's so much fun. Richard Stumpf just came on. Mm -hmm. um, one of my faves. Oh, yeah. Well, we opened for the doors. Oh, that was Come great. on. Yeah. That's worth discussing. That was great. And or whatever. Way, Rayman yeah. Derek was the, one of the nicest people in the world. Yeah. Debbie it, Bashin's here. Debet in court, but always Bashin to me. Yeah, Debbie Bashin is from our very first rock band. That's right. From Bucknell. Mm -hmm. Our keyboard player. That's right. You're the best, Debbie. Deba Passion, we used to call her. Deba um, Passion. So thanks, everyone. And, you know, what does the year hold for us? Um, some things that are going on. We're going to obviously now tour with Kathy Richardson because, I mean, not even now. I mean, obviously, we should tour with Kathy Richardson. Um, and then come late summer, uh, I guess it's around Labor Day weekend for sure. But there's going to be, oh, the Girls Rising Music Festival is happening. Gonna be, I was going to jump yeah. in on you with that one. That's Girl. happening in June. And um June 18th. June 18th in Glen Cove. Girls that's going to happen here on Long Island. So that's happening again. Like thank God. And then um Labor Day weekend around there for a week we go away with Melissa Etheridge. 
um, to Etheridge Island this time. It's not an Etheridge cruise. It's we're just going to go to Mexico. Going, yeah, and hole hole up on an island with Melissa Etheridge and friends. Mm -hmm. So they haven't announced any artists yet, though. So right, Hannah, we definitely need to do a song together, and we miss you too, Debbie. Hannah, are you in Atlanta still? What's happening? Where are you? Um, Hannah Thomas is a great singer songwriter down south, down in the southern part. Usually it's Atlanta, I think, but who knows where you are now, kiddo. Um, and so that's kind of the year in the fall um, for a month long run at um, Wild Project, like you saw in the pop up video. Our, our good friend Jill Sobule is doing this, her show, which is called Fuck Seventh Grade, which is so so true both my kids are in seventh grade and i feel like the 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 truth is being stated by jill in a big way <laughs> anyway that being said um i am in the show i'm actually in the cast i'm the drummer too as well there's a stage a band on stage with jill throughout the whole show but the band members actually have parts too so i have dialogue and everything and so there's going to be a month-long run of fuck seventh grade in October at the Wild Project in New York City, which is really exciting. Yeah. So we have yeah. a lot of stuff happening. We do. We do. And uh, just nothing like imminently, which is a little boring. So maybe we should come online again, you and me, um, now that we know how to work StreamYard. What do you think? And we can sure. bring guests on like Kathy. What I want to figure out is how to get our faces equal because I didn't know how to get myself not to be giant. I know, and, then you, and then you disappear. <laughs> yeah, I thought if I disappeared, then Kathy would go giant. But then you, Kathy, went giant. And oh, I did? And Kathy was still little. Oh. Yeah. So I disappeared and then I just came back. I didn't know how to. I know we were alive. I, like, I don't know why it doesn't give that as an option to have three across, but maybe Nini knows how to do that. And Nini will be back. Yeah. Rich, Rich we'll be back next week. Live. In and out of the of the shot. Yeah, Nini would go a little too crazy. <laughs> I would get a little nauseous by the end. But um, <laughs> truth be told, but she knew how to so, do it. Yeah. So Hannah's down in Atlanta still. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Hannah. Um, Terry Card is saying deck party July. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I don't see why that wouldn't happen. But yes, we've been talking about it, Terry. Don't think we've forgotten. Um, and that's it. That's all we're going to do for now. That's all we're going to say. Should I, should we go out with something? Do you guys want to hear something? Yeah. Cause I mean, not live. We can't do it live just cause we're in two different spots when I don't think it works that way. Does it? Do it mean? never works. Like if we were to sing something, would, would we be singing together? Cause everybody says, Oh, it doesn't work. You can't do it from separate places. I don't know. I don't feel like there's a delay. I don't think so either. But then maybe there is, and maybe I am hearing you delayed. What? Ah, I'm <laughs> just kidding. What if we sang like tried to sing Happy Birthday right now? Would it come out at the same time? One, two, birthday? three. Happy birthday to no, no, you're delayed. I am. Yeah. No, Try I, sound I sounded the same. Okay, you didn't on mine. What? How about to the people? Try it again uh, on four. One, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. You're delayed. I am not. Yes, you were. No, I am not delayed. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Terry said not the same. Not the same. Sounds yeah. to me. No, that's because there's... Maybe because you have a microphone and I yeah. couldn't deal with putting my microphone on. No, think, no, no, no. It's not yeah. it. It just had like a little bit of a lag. <laughs> Rich classic rendition per usual. Just so you know, our, um, yeah, Sean said delayed mm -hmm. our, uh, one of our road guys, Tony, he used to always say when we were in the van and we would sing to music, he would always say, I literally, I just cannot believe that you guys actually sing in a band. That's oh, how bad. They say you sound better. That's how, that's how great this is. Oh, it's, it's just a lot. Because she's using the microphone and I'm not using, I'm just using. The yeah, phone. that's probably why. I'll know to do it next time. It was, I came crashing in. I had to go get my dinner. Sibby, you are the better singer. 
I can admit it. There's no shame. Well, I, I wish I was a better singer. You just have to own your voice. I, I've owned it. I've owned that I don't have a very good voice. No, you probably do if you're not singing up in the clouds all the time. Well, that's where I get put. But you can sing. Like if you if we did, if you sang lead and you were like more like chill in the, in your zone. Well, I sing. I sang my song Tree to you. You've heard me yeah. sing. Mm -hmm. it doesn't sound that good. It might not be in the right key for you. Oh, so you agree that I didn't sound good. No, I'm not not agreeing. I'm saying you saying you don't think you sound good. No, I actually thought I sounded good, but I tricked you. Did you think I didn't sound good? No, I didn't say that at all. I, I think we're going to replay this tape and find out that you didn't think I. No, I'm saying you said I don't. I played tree for you. I don't think I sounded good. And I said, well, maybe it wasn't in the right key for you. Well, no, you should have said you sounded great. That should have been what you said. Oh. Actually, you sounded great, Kristen. Actually, that was your sweet spot. That's what I thought. All right. Anyway, I, I do think you have a good voice. I do when I'm up when I'm with you. Oh, when we blend oh. Yeah, yeah. There's a unique But one. no, I'm not a great singer. Well, I'm not a great singer either, but you're a good singer. Feel. You feel it. Don't worry. It's it's coming. Well, I feel it. I mean, I feel. Listen, we've been doing this a long time. I'm not saying, I mean, it's stupid for me to say that I can't sing. Obviously, I can sing. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not a great singer. I'm just not like I could never be the lead singer. Rich says we're both great. <laughs> All right. Well, which one's on prettier? Then which one's prettier, Rich? Oh, God. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, um, <laughs> anyway. We're doing I mean, obviously. But you know, we've never the Hendersons have never broken out as the lead singers. Which why not? Why haven't we? Well, because we have Nini, obviously. We don't want to we don't we love Nini, so. Ah, same answer from Rich on who's prettier. That's exactly right. Who's I'm, older? I'm the... Uh, <laughs> didn't this Joe end already yet? It did. This is, <laughs> these are just the um, late night if you want to stay on. The show's right. over, but <laughs> this is just backstage now. <laughs> uh. uh Thanks, Thanks Rhonda. Rhonda. That's so nice. That really is nice. Rich, I don't think you're older. I think you'd be surprised. We've always been older, even when people thought we were young. Yeah, we used to screw that up a lot. We would. We say, did. We, we don't would. care anymore. But no. back then, we were supposed to care. There was like a time where you and had to care. And that you know what was stupid about that is that we were like we were in our twenties, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were, in we our were 20s. lying. We would lie to people about. How Which funny. age in our 20s we were. <laughs> I'm 24. It was 26, you know. Oh, God. It's like so stupid. Uh -huh. Finally, now we're just like, I'm 90. Yeah. <laughs> and this is how old it. I am. I've been 90 the whole time. Loving it. And loving it. I have no problem with that now. No, neither do I. Thank God but you can own that now. In fact, it's a great thing because it's like, it's you're never too old. It's never too late. Right. Keep do what you love. Keep doing what you love. Act like a kid if you want. It doesn't matter how old. There's it no doesn't. old. It's in here. All right, Sibby. I believe you. It's all in here. It's so true. It is. I know. I know. Like I, I, one you know. time we were touring in the van. You know, we toured a lot back when we were in our 20s. Or were we in our 30s by then? And uh, one time in the van, I, I got up, I was napping on my bench and I got up and I said to Dina, we literally would do over 280 shows a year in the van. And so that means really basically like the other days are just travel days. Like there, we were never, ever home once in a blue moon, we'd go home, but only because there's maybe a show in New York that we were doing. So we would sleep in our apartment. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm asleep on my van bench and I get up. Cause I really meant this. I, it was my birthday and I didn't know how old I was. I couldn't <laughs> because right. probably we because lied I, so we lied so often and I just didn't know. I just couldn't remember. And so I said to Dean, I said, 
I could, I didn't even know what year it was. Like that would get me too sometimes in the van. Like we traveled so much. I'd be like, I really wasn't sure what year it was. And so I asked Dina, how old am I? Am I, how old am I? And she said, you're 31. This is your 31st birthday. And I was like, okay. And so then we went and laid back down. And then like a half hour later, she started poking my shoulder to wake me up. Like as if she had really good news for me. And so I opened my eyes and she's looking over my bench and she says, actually, you're 30. You're just 30. <laughs> Are you going to realize that was a big birthday? It was something like that. I don't know if it was that exact number, maybe. But no, I, it was, it might have not been, yeah, I guess I would have known that. But 32, 31, maybe it was. Mm -hmm. But it was something little, like something like something right. a long time ago that <laughs> at the time was technically super traumatizing. Right. But now is like, you know, so ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. One time, Sibby, we'll tell this one last one and then we'll go. I promise. Right, Sibby? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. The time that somebody came up to me and said, uh, who's older, you or your sister? And I said, uh, she's older. And then she said, and then she asked me how old I was. And I said, I was... I think 26. I said I was 26. Yeah. I was probably 28. I said I was 26. And she said, somebody's lying because your sister said she's 24. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, confusing the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Who's older? Who cares? You know, what are you asking me how old I am? <laughs> Never mind your own business. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're seasoned now. We now are. Seasoned. I guess I'd tell somebody now how old I am. Uh, well, you have got an audience. <laughs> I don't think I could say it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just programmed to not say it, but I am. <laughs> I wouldn't lie about it. If you know how old I am, obviously people know how old I am. Well, it starts no. with it. We'll say it starts with an F. <laughs> Leslie just came on. Leslie Atkinson. <laughs> Leslie Atkinson just came on. She's our old publicist. I want you to imagine that job. Oh, uh, well, that was some fun stuff back then. Leslie was the real deal. She booked us. You did everything, Leslie. We Poor and thing. we went in style when we went to Atlanta. Leslie did our you did everything. You booked for us. And meanwhile, Leslie was trained in none of those disciplines. Leslie right. worked in an advertising agency with what with me. Well, me the too. Time, right. And then, oh, right. And then we quit. And Leslie was like, I'm going to help y'all. I'm going to help y'all. And she did so much shit for us. You did everything, Leslie. Yep. She was great. She would like, she would pay for our hotel rooms, remember? Or room. We would get a room at the Wyndham. But it would be a nice, it was a it yeah. was a it was a nice hotel for in yeah. those days like a Wyndham for us was like way up there like we couldn't stay yeah. at a Wyndham we stayed at the Motel Sixes and we would have like, three people in the bed and two people on the pullout couch and we were styling. in a motel well in the Motel Sixes we would remember we would all go into we would all come in from the outside because they would have like a sliding glass door so uh -huh. the whole band would and crew would all file in so Kathy would go to the desk. Door. And be like, there's two of us. There's only two of us. And then like 18, the clown car would unload through the sliding glass door. Yeah, that was on the parking lot. <laughs> and we'd all just like <laughs> sleep. I remember one time we were in a hotel in Nashville, Sibby. Do you remember yeah. this one? At the Opry Land or something, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were all in one hotel room there. Was and there was a very small room. <laughs> no floor. <laughs> no floor. You had to walk on the cots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but totally. we were fine like it didn't matter oh i mean how did we live like that i have no idea i have no idea either but it was it did not phase us i was telling somebody the other day how um we drove like from we did a show in albany new york and then the next night we were in <laughs> north carolina charlotte north carolina that was brutal <laughs> you can't do that i didn't and, think i was gonna be able to stand up i was having such anxiety i'm like i know i couldn't drive you drove like and you never drive ever <laughs> i know i don't you know what like came over 10 me. hours Great i drove 
I know. I basically drove us from Albany to Charlotte, mm-hmm. North Carolina. I don't know why. It must have been. But we I stayed must've... in that nasty motel. Remember Motel 87 in Albany? <laughs> remember and we were pushing dressers up against the doors at doors because they didn't lock and we were we were petrified somebody was going to come in and kill Ugh. us it was really not a great place okay then another great drive was when we played um uh philly and actually it was, it was manayunk right manayunk pennsylvania yeah, great, great street pub yeah grape street pub yeah. and we had to be on block island the following like day morning we had to be on the ferry <laughs> It's 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so we drove we drove from Philly all the way to where is that? Rhode Island? Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> we only had a few hours to get there. So so I was so tired that night. I didn't drive that night. No, I think back I don't then even know who drove. I might have still been drinking then. So I mean, I don't think I well, could have driven. Well, you slept on the van floor. So I just unrolled a yoga mat and slept on the van floor. Uh-huh. Like, that's absolutely not even an option in my life now. If I did that, you you would have to take me straight to the emergency room. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh-huh. That van floor is horrible. Uh, I mean, what are you? am I talking about? On a yoga mat, on a little thin purple yoga mat. It was a, like a crappy yoga mat, too, not some fancy one. Oh, right, not a thick, comfy one. I mean, and even more ridiculous is that there was a yoga mat in the van. Right. <laughs> well, we had our health in mind. <laughs> we meant well. Mm-hmm. We definitely meant well. Anyway, yeah. any good stories you want to share before we blast out of here? I mean, I think those are some pretty good stories. They were right significant. There. Yeah. The days, those were the days. There's just so many. It's like I can't even, I can't even pick one. I mean, look, mom just said, "Did your mother know?" Well, did you? I don't know. Where were you? She's the one to ask. I mean, you did a great job, mom. I mean, think about it. We were in our, you know, we we weren't living at home with you. We were out making shit happen. No, we were. I mean, we did. We made something out of nothing. That's for sure. We sure did. And we still are. Yeah. I mean, we built a, you know, we built something. We're making something out of something now. Yeah. Now we're cooking with gas, Sibby. What did I say (laughs) we were cooking with? um, You said we were cooking with. Something's not, that didn't make sense. Yeah. It made no sense. We're cooking with. uh... (laughs) Remember. I forget corn or something yeah it was something silly cooking with god i can't think of it it was so dumb i couldn't believe you said it it was now why is mom saying she's traumatized now well let's not bring our dynamic no i'm just curious why (laughs) what what did we say that traumatized her yoga mat it's i mean i'm confused by it it's traumatizing uh is it I don't, it was so fun. It wasn't traumatizing at all. Traumatizing would have been working at the day job. That would have been traumatizing to me. Being on the train every day. Yo, oh, that would have been really traumatizing. It is traumatizing. And then I might just say, are my kids listening? Probably not. I can't imagine they'd want to. Kidding. Oh, she's kidding. Well, mm-hmm. then they are. They are listening. <laughs> They're not listening. No. They are not come down listening. Down to the keys. We will come to the keys. And Debbie, we will come up to the vineyard. If you will. Pass. All right. Oh, the keys. We'd love to. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mom, I'm sorry if we traumatized you, but I assure you we've come out the other end of this and we're really fine now. Fine. We're, both, pe- we're fine people. We're both living <laughs> happy lives. <laughs> I think. Um, so it all worked out. And we get a lot of rest at night. I sleep like a baby in a bed that doesn't move. always. And now when we down a road, and now when we tour, we stay at five star hotels. That's right. We only play at like four or five in the afternoon. We try to play as early as possible. Uh Early early bird stuff. Uh (laughs) And uh, so it's all worked out. I mean, it really worked out. Really, what we did it when you we could do it. You know, when we could, when we should be doing it. That's when we did it. And we had so much fun. Uh huh. Anyway, and we're still having so much fun. We really are. This we is are. great. 
I know. Well, the show ended like an hour ago. <laughs> I don't know why all these people are still commenting. <laughs> I should stop looking over there. Why? It's great. That's great it is story. totally great. I'm just kidding. Joking. We love that everybody came on. We thought we again think we're going to just be talking to each other. Like, is everybody going to come on? It's so nice to talk to you like this. We love so, that you came on. What I do want to say too is that um, the video for Avalanche, it rolled here earlier in the show, it but um, you can watch it again now. It should be live on YouTube or it should be not live on YouTube, but you know what I mean? It should be on YouTube now. It was supposed to go live this evening at right around 8.30 p.m. So if you go to our YouTube channel slash Antigone Rising, um, it's there now. It should be there. I hope it's there. Terry, I just actually found my AR homecoming shirt the other day. Ooh. Ooh. That was oh, good. wow. And Mom, you're you, right. I need to eat. You have your Antigone Rising homecoming shirt still? I found it. And you know, I've been going through everything because I'm going to renovate. So I'm like going through everything. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. This, so Savannah Bowl? We really quickly. Can we tell the? Yeah. This, you, it was you, such a brilliant thing that we did. It was so much fun. The fans. So again, even though we, we should. See, it. that's another thing that we couldn't do now that we could do then. So in 2003, yeah. I think it was, we got signed to Atlantic Records and we made our first album. Uh, we were recording our first album out in Los Angeles with a producer named Oliver Lieber. And uh, Sibby, I can't see Paula you, Abdul. Sibby. <laughs> I can't see you, Sibby. Paula um, Abdul and Beth Hart, he's done. Oh, yeah, yeah. He co-wrote some of those Paula Abdul hits. Um Anyway, so we were out in LA for many, many months. And uh um and so but we were an East Coast band, obviously. We toured up and down the East Coast like crazy dogs. And so it was like a lot of East Coast, Midwest, East, Midwest. Like we sort of did a loop like that. Very rarely we went out to the West Coast really only to make that album. That was like the our first trip out west. And so uh, we had this fan base that like really loved us back home. And so they wanted us to come back. So in the middle of the recording, we decided to come back to the East coast and do a couple of shows. Um, and, uh, and so we dubbed that, that homecoming, the weekend would be homecoming weekend. And um, so we had a football game out in a park that we just invited the fans to anyone who wants to come play football. We're going to be in the game too. We'll play football. And uh, we'll have a football game. There'll be cheerleaders. And so the, this whole crew of people just showed up in this park <laughs> in Hoboken. And we split up into two football teams. And, uh, George and we, 28, 2006, Terry put up, put up there. 2006? No, it was October. I'm, I'm, I don't want to get, but I think it was October, Terry. But you have the shirt, I guess. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. 2006 is too late. I think it was 2003. Anyway, let's not, you know what? Let's not split hairs. No. Because I don't even know how old I am. So right. so we played football and we did a weekend of shows. Mm -hmm. Um, So we the even Vanna did a show Bowl. that night. The we Vanna Bowl. We called it the Vanna Bowl, which was the, after our van. Anyway, um, so we survived the football game and then we did two shows in a row. Mm -hmm. I yes, mean, the shirt says so. Oh. We could have been out west too and came back. I mean, Lord knows well, what we were. Right. M I mean, must be true. It, the shirt. Says <laughs> so. The shirt says it. I, mean, <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. I mean, we yeah. wouldn't have made a shirt that had a wrong date. I have to go find it. I have it somewhere. Yeah. I had. I have seen it. All right, team. That's definitely it. Now I'm done talking. You guys are the best. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. Yeah, this was great, team. Uh, we we'll be back. Sibby, when should we come back again? We'll uh, we'll talk about it, but we should come back sooner than later. Yeah, definitely and, after I eat. You know, it'd be nice to have uh, Nini Camps on as a guest next time. Oh, it will be. We have to work through it, talk to her people. Yeah, I'll check with her people and see if we can get that going on. Roxanne's on. Hi, Roxanne. Roxanne's Hi, another. Roxanne. We love you too, Deb. Deb and Roxanne. And thank you, Lisa, for being on all the way from down under. Our two vineyard kids are here, Debbie and Roxanne. Ah, the vineyard kids. Yeah, the vineyard posse. All right, team. Um, love, 
Check Love out the new that. record and uh, we'll be in touch. We'll be in constant contact. Happy Friday and happy weekend. See you later, Sibby. Enjoy your dinner. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye.